All right. Let's see just how far the rabbit hole goes. Wait, no, wait, I forgot what channel I'm running. I shouldn't have said that. Cut. How's it going, guys? My name is Aralyn Thameslink. Why Thameslink? Because I like my babes as big as a bus. And it's funny I should mention big today, because that is going to be the subject of my very first YouTube video. Yay, another furry YouTuber to add to the pile. Let's hope I can muster up some originality before I fall off into the ether in the next six months. So today, the subject of today's vid is going to be on fat fursuits. Now fat fursuits can mean various things and I'm going to try to go through all the kinds of fat fursuits there are in this fandom. And I've picked a couple of examples which I can hopefully use to extrapolate on why people tend to design their characters this way. Now there's many types of what can constitute as fat fursuits made for all kinds of motivations and decisions made by their creators. And the first furry we're going to start with is a woof known as Greeny Woof. Just put a little graphic of Greeny Woof here. If Azza doesn't edit that I'm going to be very fucking upset. Now Greeny Woof is a fursuiter who loves, let's say, bellies on the bigger side as evidenced right there. Now there are many reasons as to why, if you were to visit his YouTube channel you will see a modicum of inflation videos, weight gain videos and just general big bellied stuff as he continues on his evolutionary path from big boy to thick boy to big shungus. Now there are many particular reasons as to why a person could design their character this way. Number one is that they simply like their character to be a little bit bigger than they are in real life or it's to reflect their natural body weight. But in the case of Greeny Woof there are many origins as to why many people like him and other furries are into inflation and weight gain. It can also be attributed to popular cartoons like Tom and Jerry for example. And I can think of many an episode where there was inflation regarding water, air and various bursting. It's a wonder why we're all the big weirdos we are today. But Greeny's videos tend to take on a more comedic purpose and it highlights of how accepting we are as to the thicker versions of our fursuits. Now there are some people that take the inflation technology further instead of having just a little bell or gym ball that they can inflate inside the suit manually or a beach ball some go the full hog and decide to have a fursuit or not even a fursuit at this point a latex suit of their character made entirely of well latex that can be inflated I'm sure you've all seen that very infamous video on the cringe compilation of those two dragon uh, latex suitors pumping each other up no not in that way pumping not pumping each other up until one of them probably bursts but I don't think they would burst because I guarantee those suits could pay for my entire college tuition Greeny is proof while we are in what <laughs> now Greeny can serve as some proof that while we may like our characters and myself included a little bit bigger than the average furry, it doesn't always have a kinky motivation to it. It can simply just be part of the character that you like to portray. Maybe your character likes eating donuts. Maybe he likes a lot of cake. Maybe he likes having a pump shoved up his ass and blown up till he bursts. Or he likes to be a living balloon. We all have our motivations. And weight gain is the one we're gonna talk about next with this character, Oz Kangaroo. Oz Kangaroo is like greeny but on kangaroo overdrive. You thought you saw thick? Well take a look at those hips. They do not lie. Woof. Now Oz Kangaroo's suit is very special because not only does it have a thick, big, fat lining to be blown up, it also has inflation technology threaded throughout the suit, which you can see in one of his most popular videos where, if you have seen the infamous trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2, the part where the bunny gets the pancakes until we see Pixar's foray into the bursting fetish scarring one poor little girl for life. Now this takes weight gain to a whole new level because as we've seen before most of the fatness is concentrated around the belly area or around the chest area. For Oz Kangaroo his suit can almost be inflated entirely and I'm sure you've all seen the com footage of these various big suited characters being rolled around on the floor and flattening pretty much every fursuiter and congoer in sight. Now the weight gain aspect can be attributed to many kinds of things. It, it doesn't all have to be kinky. 
but there are some areas of fursuiting or and there are some areas of artwork where weight gain does have sexual connotations but then again everything does rule 34 exists for a reason people now oz's design is very flattering he is pretty much the example of bigger characters now Ozzy's design lends itself to the true toony portrayal of big fat characters like the ones we see in media. Some fursuiters have said that the reason why they have their characters with bigger hips or even like plush fursuiters where they look like a giant, well plushy, is that they like the toonier aspect of how they look better than the more realistic thinner sleeker aspects. Particularly with faces also like mine, you wouldn't see me prowling around in the woods looking for breakfast or to eat you. More on Vore in a moment. With bigger characters, there also comes another area as to why their characters may or may not be on the bigger side, and that is Vore. And we can betray by the next fursuiter we get to, Zool. Now, if you thought Oz Kangaroo was big, this guy swallowed an entire gym ball, and probably everyone else in the gym as well. If you're wondering why Anytime Fitness or even Planet Fitness had a severe decline in attendees and the decline of all the pizza, it was eaten by this guy. Now Zool's first suit is quite unique because he literally just does have a gym ball shoved inside of him and like I said probably all the gym goers that he got it from as well. This has led to many toony shenanigans as can be seen by most of Morpheles's first suitors of him acting as either a kaiju and flattening the entire city and probably all the con attendees as well or flattening other first suitors. This leads to many photos of belly hugs, belly rubs and of course pokes. So I think with this claw I probably would burst him. Now Zool's fursuit does highlight the other aspect that I mentioned which is of course Vor. Now if you don't know what Vor is, Vor is where a character or characters are ingested and eaten either whole or chewed up by the sonar or character that the artwork or video is depicting. Okay, there are examples of this in media as well, usually they are spat back out by the animal that's eating them unless of course you're watching an actual movie or Tremors. I don't know, I've never seen any grab boy fursonas though. But Zool's fursuit and Greenie's fursuit highlight the two main pieces of technology that some suitors tend to utilise to make their characters look bigger, which is of course inf by means of inflation or some kind of inflation bell to make their bodies appear bigger than they actually are. The same can be said for Oz as well. But there are other examples of having the thicker body design without the use of inflation or any kind of air pump and that can be demonstrated by this lovely suitor, Cerise. Now Cerise is also unique because she's not fat per se but she does have, let's say, a lot more stuffing allocated to specific areas of her body. Now this, of course, is where we get into the more, let's say, provocative or even the sexual side of having a thicker body type because as you can see, it's not just the entirety of her body that's bigger, it's also her, well, well, fuck it, I can't get demonetized anyway because I can't get monetized for at least another, probably about 6,000 years, I think, boobs. Now I know what you're thinking, boobs on a fursuit? Oh my god, that is so vulgar. Well, cons, some cons allow human pups to walk around on leashes, so that's a can of worms I don't want to get into. I'll save that for another video. A video idea that's probably about five months out of date. But hey ho! Now Cerise is unique in the fact that she is not, let's say, overly sexually provocative, but she does take advantage of her, let's say, feminine looks, which makes for some pretty good photo opportunities and, of course, artwork. Which I don't think is at all bad in my opinion because, like I said, it's character expression. She's not shoving it in anyone's faces and people can choose to admire it. And of course with other fursuiters, especially female fursuiters who may want to accentuate their body types, you know, on their fursuit, they are well within their right to choose. It doesn't have to all be sexually provocative, even though some may choose to utilise it for that aspect. It's not the entire thing, but we have to acknowledge that in every single one of the options and ways that you can create a fat fursuit that I mentioned, there's always going to be one or two, or let's say a few hundred or thousand people who want it for the sexual motivation. But then again, everybody's different, everyone has their reasons. Some do, some don't. It's just a fact of life. Because let's face it, someone's going to be jerking off to this video as well, or the lovely picture of Star Fox I have in my background. Which brings me to the conclusion that I think that while there are many ways to look at fat fursuits, bigger fursuits, or different kinds of fursuits, it all points to one thing. 
Character expression. When you design your character, that's you designing you, a character of your own, or your own self in fluffy animal form. And you can choose to utilize that however you like. You can have your fursuits are just big, a big inflatable belly. It can be made entirely of latex, plush, boobs, baps, whatever you want, and of course, butts. I can't forget the butts. And whatever way you choose to express yourself, it's freedom of expression. As long as you don't go, let's say, fucking someone in the middle of a con space, <clears throat> people will accept you for how you express your character. As long as you know, don't be a dick about it. But I think that's common with anyone. Just don't be a dick. But however you choose to express your character, as I said, whether it's through weight gain, inflation, just being yourself, or this is how your character is or likes to be, it's your choice. There are many options out there. If you want to be bigger in fursuit, it's your choice to do so. And there are many ways you can go about it. And of course, people will love you for whatever you choose. Some people more than others. That's just the nature of it. We all look hot to someone. So that's the end of the video. I hope that I chose to highlight some of the larger aspects of fursuiters, as there are many, many types in this fandom. Everything from plantigrade, digigrade to full quad fursuits. Everyone has that freedom of expression. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter what you choose, you're allowed to express yourself however way you want. But like I said, don't go being a dick. Don't go thrusting it in people's faces. Just express yourself for who you are. But remember, if you express yourself, not everyone has to like it. You're well within your right to express who you are or who your character is, but don't expect everyone to like it. And when you create your character, remember, someone will always, no matter how lovely or appealing you make your character, however way you choose to explain why your character looks the way they do, there will always be someone who doesn't like it. The key to that, is not changing who you are for it. So go away, design your characters, make them as big, thin or fat as you like, for whatever motivations you wish, within the confines of the law, of course. But the whole point is, no matter what technology you utilize, no matter what way you choose to express your character, we will love you for it. Just don't be a dick. Whether you're thick, fat or thin, you're going to look adorable. But of course, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for ways to make your suit or to get a suit that looks bigger. So like, comment, share and subscribe. Twitter links down in the description below, as well as links to the channels and Twitters of all those that I mentioned and credited. I hope this was an okay first video and it can be edited into something relatively uh, legible. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye.